Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. I <laughs> say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweeties are. A little keys. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Um. <laughs> Did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Quash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You say you're sorry right now. Promise you'll never ever do that again or else. Hmm. 
Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again. Yippee! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Hmm, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh? Whoa! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! What's all this noise? You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy, come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? And you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. <sighs> oh, the poor guy, all by himself. Yeah, and it's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah? Let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boar. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't. Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool. Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the living's 
Stone saw this wild-looking creature. They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now we'll see who the wild beast is. <laughs> A minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. <laughs> Just a little chat. Huh? Ow! <laughs> Vic, you never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. It's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough. Huh? Hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls, it's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. And this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> 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 Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? <laughs> oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she Sit going to sit down here, my little BB. Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot, my darling BB, when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that Auntie's off her rock! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? <clears throat> Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! 
<sighs> when I hear the word sugar, sugar. Sorry, guys. Duty call. No, it's not fair. And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not. Ah, uh, come on. Quit soaking. Let's go play hide and go pig. Great idea. But it's Wash's turn to play wolf. Don't worry. We'll go get him. Last one there is a snake Hey, what? You gotta come play hide and go pig with us? Oh, be sure. And it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 baby. You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo, shoo. Out of here. Mm, no way she's gonna stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we can only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore, go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a pet! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen! The first boat out of here tomorrow morning! We? You got it! Ribby and me! I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls! Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family! Very well then, I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on.
love you so much. You're just awesome, all of you. But especially Susie, who is super, super charismatic. Well, what? I don't know how to read, so I interpret. Hey, that's a letter from Wash? His paw prints. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Baby has disappeared, and I won't leave without him. My little baby, our boat is set to sail. Boy, is it ever hot. How about some fresh air, baby? Wash! Washington! Washington! Wash! Is that really you? I didn't meet you after all. Annie is going away. You can come back home now. Great! Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that now they make you die kibble for cat. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Whoa. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep Wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! Oh! The Living Stones! They probably brought back food! Mm -hmm. Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot you can't eat? They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look! <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. 
Where could that ball have got to? Da ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash! Huh, I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away! You don't recognize me? It's Magnus! Hey, Magnus, of course! <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know how the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Ah, shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. What? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? <laughs> uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The living stones will notice, and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hilarious. Do it again. Meow, meow. Yay, my kibble. Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. Hey, Wash, you there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. 
Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... Uh, yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the master. Oh, <laughs> this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. What? You gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's you 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 cheat. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, watch! Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream! Shall we move things up in gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's the Washington <laughs> we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, climb <laughs> aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke! We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Vic! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase. <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Oh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 row! Woof, 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 row, row! Honey, uh, whoa, can't you whoa, see whoa. he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, little whoa, doggie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah, the mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So <laughs> where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. 
I work for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild anima fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How what? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... <laughs> there are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. <laughs> Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it! It won't matter! There's no danger for you! You're just a standard issue pet cat! Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <laughs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <gasps> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you. On one condition, you never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please have mercy. Not the seven-year chabashu. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist. The 
That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. Victory! I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. Thanks to you, I'll be famous again. I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Hmm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way, it's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set! It looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yeah! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> <gasps> you, sweetie pie, please <laughs> Hey, Wash. 
Wyatt's not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Not yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. And it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington, catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh -huh. What? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the Living Stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. Yeah. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Wash, what has gotten into you? Washington! Please Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please! Wash, you bad dog! Don't ever do that again, otherwise you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! No! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. <laughs> Washington, no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it! Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute. Oh. <laughs> What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. 
I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We'd better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Livingstones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait, what if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Jovanovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No! No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them! <clears throat> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped him apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns, so I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess, I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? <laughs> Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course! It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up, it's the Neighborhood swap arama Drop on by, shop and swap, exchange and change. This swap arama shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Bush. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're gonna tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Wow! They look like laser specks, like in The Dog from Outer Space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the Royal Chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken! Yeah! Chicken! Cool. If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh-uh-uh. What if 
have you got to give me an exchange? Uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs or roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Phooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We gotta find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, you Judy. I have an idea. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, uh, <laughs> Shoot! There are no roast chickens in the yard! Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs, but give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see, Sam? Yeah? Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! <laughs> Anybody want some? So, tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem, no. It's a catastrophe! What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them fleas. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. Not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser-known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. Oh, no! I can't go back to the forest. Wash, do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Do you realize, honey buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. Yee-haw! <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specs! <laughs> They're my specs! I saw them first! <laughs> ah! Wild animal! Run for cover! Supervillains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. Uh. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buds I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild boar! Canary at all! Ha ha! Very funny, Alf! 
Goofy. <laughs> the youth of today. They have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, but, but why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie. Stop trying to show off. <laughs> wild animals. Now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm, I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's going to see us, Wash! He's going to see us! Not if we're faster than he is. <laughs> Wait up, supervillains. I want to inspect you with my supervision specs. Phew, <laughs> it's you, Vic. Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Now! But now! I've got him! Uh. Oh. Ready, Sam? Farewell, those chickens! Uh. Uh. <laughs> we'll turn on all the lights! Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Sweetie Pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 
15, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. We get it. It's just taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh? Lots of action. It's a suspense. Yeah, right. There's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer. I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV all to ourselves. <laughs> OK, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. <laughs> No! Uh. Sam! Sam! E Woods! You're the one who swallowed the ring! Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Livingstones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready. Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're going to see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down! Up, down! Come on! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? <laughs> Did you get the ring? Did you? Look! My favorite toy! It's amazing! I was sure it was lost forever! <laughs> that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. 
Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington. But it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. You will what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! All right, oops. I'll continue looking. <laughs> We're here, Susie. Quick, hurry up. Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But... There's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious uh, ring! Do you uh, understand? Oh, uh, uh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions menu. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh. And now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Oh. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Hi. You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So? Uh, did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how 
sweet of you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. Mm -hmm. We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share. Share it, share it, share it. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow. Just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey! That looks like Alvarez! <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. No, 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 no. I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick wash, they're here! Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Be 
Cassandra. Careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No. He must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm going to go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. Gonna last long as this. <laughs> we have to come up with another plan to open it. Right. Okay. Time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox. It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez. <laughs> get him, Alvy! We're going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! That's good, Alvarez. The fox came this way. You're doing a great job! We're gonna find that beast! Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you! Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, Sir Fox Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me. And tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me. Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh. But then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox over a Quick, the garbage can. 
Unusual cat dance. Honey, that cat has never ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. But how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh. <laughs> Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter. I am so proud of you. There he is! Mm -hmm. Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hotel Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap, wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong, uh, uh -huh. Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Whoa! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? 
squash? Come on, we'll do a test on Fat Cat. Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, you are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. Sam, <laughs> check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error. Unknown Maybe species. it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. Oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sam's been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not oh. if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Quick, Eugenie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never, ever 
dare to go outside again! Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! 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 Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! Yes, 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 yes. It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that <laughs> way. Huh? He looks kind of angry. Do you hear the noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat. It's not a cat. Look at the hair test results. Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptilian. Uh. Error, huh? error, error. Uh. 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 Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, 
Hi, where is Washington? <gasps> oh. Answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, my little wash. Uh -huh. Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now, at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry. Same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. <laughs> Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> there they are! He's going to be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Groove. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Maidum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on! The score is going through the roof! We have a winner! <laughs> this is incredible! Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record! <laughs> wow! I have to admit, the boy did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time! Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofay says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that Silly Hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're going to be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! No! Do you got to stop being so intelligent, Wash? Huh? Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. 
Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right. I'll try a different question. This time it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves live with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> Now we're going to brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower. A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poffins. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. I mean, you were shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Mm -hmm. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? Uh, 29, 30, 31. Uh, uh, 34. Uh, <laughs> 40. Washington, that is incredible! <laughs> Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see now, this. Now, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. 
In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much too, even if you are lame. <sighs> Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? Okay. Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> <laughs>